This problem gives us a cube with sides of length L and a constant electric field. We're asked to find the electric flux through each cube face and the net flux through the whole cube. The electric flux is the integral of E dot dA, the electric field dotted into the area. Because the electric field is constant, this gives us E times A times cosine of the angle phi between those two vectors. We're given the magnitudes of the electric field and the area of each cube face, but we need to find the angle phi between each normal and the electric field. So let's first find its values for the top and bottom faces. For the top face, the outward normal is directed straight up along the positive z-axis. For the bottom face, it's straight down along the negative z-axis. The electric field, however, is in the xy plane, so it is perpendicular to both of those normal directions. Cosine of 90 equals zero. This means that there is no electric flux through either the top or the bottom faces. To help us visualize the angle phi for the other faces, let's look down along the z-axis onto the xy plane with the top view of the cube drawn here in green. There are four faces, left, right, front, and back, with their outward normals in this direction. In the electric field, I'll draw an angle theta 53 degrees from the x-axis towards the y-axis. Now we can mark the angles phi between each outward normal and the electric field. Here's the angle phi for the front face. Here it is for the right side, for the back side, and for the left side. When we look at the geometries here, we find that phi for the front side equals the angle theta. That's 53.1 degrees. For the back side, we see that the angle phi is 180 degrees minus theta. That gives us 127 degrees. For the left, phi sub L is 90 degrees plus theta. And for the right, phi sub R is 90 degrees minus theta. With all of these values for the angles phi, we can go back and now calculate each of the electric fluxes. The electric flux through the front face is Ea cosine phi sub f. That gives us 24 newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Phi for the back face is Ea cosine phi for the back face. And that works out to negative of the value above it. For the left face, we get Ea cosine phi sub L, which is 143 degrees. That gives us this value. And finally, for the right face, we have Ea cosine phi sub R. And that gives us, again, the negative of the value above it. So these are the electric fluxes through each of the six faces. Part B asks us to find the net flux, the flux we get if we add them all together. And we can see that they'll all add to zero. There's as much flux entering the cube as there is leaving, so the net flux is zero.